In this video, we're going to discuss formal commands. In other words, how to give commands in the usted and ustedes forms. These forms you would know from instructions, in Spanish instructions or Spanish recipes, is where you'll see these more, most often. Now, to make a formal command, you simply start with the yo form. So for calentar to heat, you would say, cal liento. Then you drop the O, and you add an E, caliente. For the plural, if you're talking to more than one person, it would be cal lienten. For agregar to add, you would say, Agrego. Again, you drop the O. But in order to keep the G sound in agrego, in agrego you're going to add a U, so it becomes agregue. And agregen. If you want to make these negative commands, like, hey, don't add that or don't heat that up, you simply put a no in front of it. So no caliente or no calienten and no agregue, no agreguen. ER and IR verbs start the same way as the AR verbs do. Uh, they start with the present tense yo form. So anya there, which also means to add, like to add something to a recipe, it would be añado, drop the O, and add Ah, añada. So whereas for AR verbs, you add an E, like caliente or calienten. For añadir, which is an IR verb, you add an A. So añada or añadan. For comer, it would be coma or coman. And for either one of these, if you wanted to make it negative, simply put a no in front of them. No añada, no añadan, no coma, no coman. There always seems to be irregular verb forms. Uh, so in the formal commands, the irregular verb forms are ear to go, so it would be vaya or vayan, ser, which would be sea or sean, depending on usted or ustedes, dar would be de or then, and a star would be este or esten. And again, to make any of these negative, like don't go or don't be, don't give, uh, don't be uh, for a star, you just add a no in front of any of these. If you have any questions or comments about this video, you can message me at SRDenim on Twitter, or you can comment below.